kids on that team that I don't believe Michael really would want on that team. Oh, Lord. One of them, the first one, is Scottie Pippen. I realize Scottie oh. helped him win those rings in Chicago, those uh -huh. six rings. Uh-huh. I'm just not buying it. I don't think Michael would really want Scotty on his team. That's just my <laughs> view. And I was there. I covered the team. I just, I'm not sure that he would want him by his side. Says in a blast. But that's just my view. Just this is my turn. I get to talk. <laughs> and look, he loves him some James Worthy because of the North Carolina connection. And yet, th this has been Michael's downfall as, as an owner, GM, personnel director, is that he plays too many favorites. There are times even when he was a bull that he would go to Jerry Krause. It's the only thing I defend Jerry Krause on that Jerry would say, no, we can't pick up Al Wood from North Carolina. Michael, he always wanted the North Carolina guys to be on the bench for the Bulls. Nope, can't do it. Don't fit, not good enough. You're, you're blind. You're, you're, you're seeing Carolina blue, Michael, and, and you can't operate a team that way. So in this case, I don't think either one of those really belong on that team. Because I can think of dozens of players better than those two for this team. I'm obviously fine with Magic, and I'm okay with Olajuwon. I could do a little better than Olajuwon, as we will soon see. Mm. But other than that, the, here's the bottom line to this. Michael Jordan could take the three of us to the park <laughs> and, and beat anybody, because that's just how good Michael Jordan is. So what's, the, what's, the, what's your team? My team? Yes. We're not there yet. We're, We're talking about there. Michael Jordan's we team. I just want to know if you like the list. That I like the, I like the list. I sort of agree with Skip. I don't agree with him on Pippen. Um, and I definitely understand your point about him being teammates with Worthy at North Carolina, and that plays a factor. But let me tell you something right Pippen. now. I, now, don't I don't totally now, disrespect. Now, I thought, I He's thought, just not Michael I, Jordan. I, well, again, nobody. Well, obviously, <laughs> neither of the other four dudes on the squad because there's only one Michael Jordan. He ain't. He's many things. He's the goat, the greatest of all time. But he ain't five people. Okay, so yes, obviously, he is. no, he's not. <laughs> he is. Well, well then, why, then why are those other guys on the list? Obviously, he's not five people. So the point that I'm trying to make to you is, if I have to, you so you oh. lack such an appreciation for the greatness of a guy like Scottie Pippen in conjunction with Michael Jordan because of what they did look, on the defensive look, I, side I of like the floor. I like Scottie personally. He is not a top 50 player. Michael Jordan made Scottie Pippen so? his Tonto so what? a top 50 so player. So you know what? You know what? Byron Scott was a lethal shooter. But how great would he have been if Magic wasn't involved? What about Norm Nixon before him? I'm, what about I'm, Michael Cooper? I'm not what about James any of those Worthy? Guys on my no, team. What I'm saying to you <laughs> Who is cares excuse about me, them? a lot of guys would put some of these guys not on the all pickup team, but the point that I'm trying to make to you is that's the definition of greatness. Do you make others better? Do you LeBron, think Scottie Pippen's top fifty? Yes. I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I've been telling that to you years. What, what, you, you, you don't want to hear me? I don't want to hear you. I've been telling you for years he's top 50 because I see what he does defensively. I watched a guy in Scottie Pippen defensively. Dude's 94 feet. I watched that man defend Magic Johnson in that first finals that they ended up winning because Phil Jackson put him on Magic after game one. I watched that. I'm looking at a guy in Scottie Pippen, and I'm saying to myself, all of these guys that we point out, I can pick a plethora of players that were better than him offensively, can't do so defensively, mm -hmm. can't see it like that. And to me, those two count. Those two count. When you look at a LeBron James, as great as he is, one of the things that goes vastly underappreciated about LeBron is LeBron will get up in you and D you up. We don't mention that enough because he averages 27, 8, and 8. But LeBron can D up too. Scotty so Pippen me, better than LeBron James? Excuse me? Is he better? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Is he, does he belong in the same not. breath with LeBron James? No, he does excuse, not. Excuse me. Who does? Game of four year life. Pick your five. You ready? Go ahead. Okay, I told you, I, I only need really one one player on my yeah. team, and that's Michael Jordan. So, voila, here's my team. And I'm going to have you read the names for me. Could you read my four teammates? Oh, my <laughs> God. I, just in honor of you, I, I want you to read the four Tiago Splitter, <laughs> Rosho Nuskarovich, Kwame Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and Slava Medvedenko. Uh -huh. It's Stanislav, actually. Oh, get the oh on it. my God! That is you. That's a joke on me. No, no, that, no that's that not. is a joke True. on me. No, that, that team could beat anybody because it's got Michael Jordan on it. I almost just put Michael Jordan solo on my team, just have a one-man show. But I thought, why not those those other four? Let because me, they're perfect. four of your all-time favorite players. Let me players. treat 
the sport of basketball. deference it deserves. Because clearly you're blasphemy with that list. How could you show up on national TV and do such a thing? I mean, this isn't Halloween. This isn't Halloween. This is April Fool's. You know, this is April 1st. You don't it make a joke like anybody. that. It's horrible. That's a horrible, horrible selection. Now, By let way, me get that to serious basketball. Good. Let me preface my comments okay. by saying <laughs> LeBron James will not be on this list only because it was Michael Jordan's list we're feeding off of, and he already had Magic Johnson. I know that LeBron James deserves to be first team in okay. anybody. Oh, okay. Kick my music, please. <laughs> Here's the deal, <laughs> y'all. Skip Bayless, yeah. we all know who the GOAT is. The greatest of all time is Magic Johnson. Yeah. And of course, I'm sorry, it's Michael Jordan. Okay. Magic Johnson's the greatest point guard. He's got to be on the list. Right. I'm going with Akeem Olajuwon because he's the shot block leader, okay? He plays some defense, head on shot. Michael Jordan made headlines by telling NBA TV that he would take Kobe and his five rings over LeBron and his one right now. LeBron responded today saying that rings don't define someone's career, pointing out that he wouldn't take Bill Russell or Robert Ory because they have more rings than Jordan. You like that argument, Tone? LeBron James is absolutely right to do this. He is absolutely right to fire back hard at Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan would do know. this. Michael Jordan respects one thing, chin music. So I get all that. I think, what, what did LeBron say that was wrong? Nobody, not even Robert Ory, would take Robert Ory over Michael Jordan. So it's, it's fine. It's fine no. what he said. Fine. It, it, it is fine. And it's, it's fair. Yeah. It's fair. You can, you know, you, you're going to look at careers. You don't want to use that only. Because if we did that only, actually, then Bill Russell would be ahead of Michael Jordan. Of everybody. 11 and to 6, I argue that Michael that. Jordan, which most people do, is the greatest player of all time. So, yes, it's a nice little back and forth. I don't think Le LeBron, to me, Tony, has been uh, very deferential uh, during this whole thing. Too Talking about this, he's been asked about it. You think too deferential? Too, yeah, you no, think I, I just come back firing at him? I mean, well, look, I'm glad that LeBron is engaged. I mean, what LeBron said the other day was basically what anybody says about me. That's okay. I don't care how people judge me. And then what he did is he came back, boom, and he came back at the one issue that Jordan has clearly, which is the issue of rings. I mean, he came back at that. Now, look, we both understand that LeBron James is not going to be in this argument unless he has about four, probably at least four. But in years Agreed. to come, young, a younger generation is going to look at LeBron James' accomplishments if he has four, and they're going to say he's the best. He, they're going to say it. Well, Tony, Tony, Tony going that's on, as we know. I mean, I wrote a column on ESPN.com talking about that very thing about you got to be 35 years or older that's right. to really appreciate the, the full greatness of Michael Jordan. But, again, I think it's okay for younger players to be deferential. Tony, I think it's okay for LeBron. I don't think LeBron has to come out firing at MJ because people will put MJ on the spot and say, what do you think of this? And whatever he answers, people are going to then go to LeBron and say, ooh, 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 did you hear what Michael Jordan said? He wanted to fire at him. He'd talk about his draft picks, and he didn't do that. But Michael Jordan.